Each of us is creative. It's funny how you go around to people in different walks of life and some people say, yeah, I'm creative, I do this. But a lot of people have certain jobs and they say, this is what I do and this is who I am. They don't think of themselves as cre creative. But that's about to change. People are going to be able to express themselves in ways that these tools are not doing it for you. And I think there's a lot of danger and worry that this gets to be like machine driven uh, art. There's a lot of that stuff that's going to happen and it's a whole nother topic. But think of the use cases where somebody like me who can't play an instrument uh, but would love to now can envision a song I'd like to see in the world and envision certain aspects of it. And even with like amazing simple tools like GarageBand from Apple, still too hard. Yeah. Now I could say, no, this is what I mean and talk to it. And I'm a conductor of my own orchestra and I'm, I'm expressing myself the way I can and being heard. And what's being heard is being translated into a permanent artifact of my creativity, right? The human AI alliance is the most exciting benefit for humanity I've ever seen. Now we see a lot of people running around saying it's gonna wipe out humanity. It's gonna end all biological life. And I don't, I don't wanna discount that. I'll be the last guy standing, so, you know, one other guy will say, I told you so, right? <laughs> no. Yes, there's a lot of things we have to be concerned about. But let's not let that concern interrupt the most exciting opportunity of our lifetime, the most fertile ground in the history of humanity to innovate and elevate what we are, what it is to be human is right now. And I think what I'll say also about one of the concerns that people have is that how will you know who's an AI and who's human as it starts to get to the next level of the NPCs merging with, with humans? You may not for, for certain purposes, but I think no matter how good an AI gets, and we can pretty much perceive it without limit now as an alien life form is getting to be billions of times smarter than humans, able to read emotions, able to interact. What makes a piece of art that a human creates different if an AI has that level of intelligence and, and even creativity? People say, well, they'll never be creative. Well, pretty darn creative. <laughs> yeah. I think my opinion is that it will never replace humans in terms of our respect and connection to a piece of art or to a piece of creativity if a human isn't actively involved in it in a way that we can understand. And it may not be detectable in sometimes, right? But if you do detect it, it changes everything. Oh, that was just done by an A and a human didn't do it. I said, make 10,000 of those things that I saw before. And I wasn't, there was no effort, there was no real expression of a human soul imparted. I think that it's the act of observing. It's kind of like a quantum thing where the act of observing changes the phenomenon. It's, it's even knowing <laughs> that a human's part will always be more valuable. And there's something about the biological um, set of circumstances that creates this <laughs> versus the, the, the AI that will keep us, uh, will, will keep humanity in the forefront of what matters. And I think we should, we should recognize that and build around that concept and not look to replace humans, but to enhance them. Yeah, I think that definitely works for the short term, for sure. In the long enough timeline, that could get really blurry. Um, but in the short term, I, I love what you talk about. I mean, being human is about being creative. And yet for so many of us, we grew up, I'm no good in music, I'm no good at art. And so you ask most people, I'd say 80, 90% of people say, I'm not an artist, I'm not creative because they've never been given the tools to where they can express themselves and right. be proud to show someone something. And they've been missing a fundamental part of human and we're all missing their creations, yeah. right? And uh, I've, I've listened to a bunch of people recently that have said that now with AI, I can do things I've always wanted to do. Amazing, yeah. right? Yeah, and I played around with GarageBand and I could never really get it going, but <laughs> yeah. you know, I want to create the hip hop track. Yeah. And, and you know, I know you have a music venue in Santa Monica yeah, yeah. and you're like, I want to, you want to create some music. Right? You wanna, I'd love to create. Now imagine if that, <clears throat> that superpower, and that creativity, that enhancement, um, also empowers me to put it out there in a new way. So now, as we talked about, the synthesis of these things. It's not these isolated, oh, AI is cool, or oh, AI wallets are cool, or you know, programmable digital objects are cool. What if they all work together? What if I now have a self-sovereign identity that is mine, that I control, which can receive payment in a decentralized world that 
now allows me to create programmable digital objects with AIs that allow me to envision almost anything that's imaginable, put them out into the world and get paid for it? What if I could do a spoken word poem where I could translate a sentence from Swahili to English and get paid for that, a unit of work, it's a form of creative output? What if that could now happen on, on a global basis where money moves more free, freely as communication does and creativity is easier to not only empower at scale, but distribute. And I think that's where we're headed. And, and to me, that, that's really exciting. We've seen in Web2 the emergence of the UGC economy, uh, YouTubers and influencers. That now gets turbocharged here, where everybody gets a chance to get out there and make a name for themselves and be known. To continue watching the rest of the episode for free, visit our website, londonreal.tv, or click the link in the description below.